Welcome back to Shyhammer Fantasy, where we're going to have another battle report, and today we are at the Dice Dojo. Uh, I have a three-round tournament that I am actually hosting uh, at the dojo, and um, basically you're going to see uh, what goes on here. Uh, first round I got High Elves, which is actually against my nephew. Um, he's a new player, so be nice on the comments to him. He's still learning. Um, and also, hopefully we're going to... with. Uh, the funds from the tournament we could possibly get them some new armor pieces but anyways here's my army uh in all its glory i'm gonna go ahead and take bring out the ragnarok spider you could see that bad boy he's in the background right there right next to him is two doom divers and then all that whole white block of guys that's actually a bunch of bretonian guys but i'm using them as skeleton for my level one lore of undeath goblin uh shaman he's going to be able to summon up some skeletons with grave call um, I have uh, three fanatics in front of them, and then over by the dice, there's one lone wolf rider. Um, and then in front of him is a block of t uh, nine or ten uh, boar boys, biggins, with Gorbad Ironclaw with them. And then next to them is a unit of savage orc biggins uh, with a level four orc shaman with them. And then I have two units of night goblins with uh, short bows. So uh, let's gonna go over uh, my li my spells really quick. My spells I got Gaze of Mork, Hand of Gork, Fist of Gork, and Foot of Gork. Now we're gonna go over his list and see what he has. His first unit here is a uh, ten Lothern Sea Guard, and then he has a unit of um, the Sword Masters uh, with great swords, and then he has a big block of thirty spearmen with uh, shields. And uh, he has two units of five Elysian Riders or Reavers. Um, and sorry for the blurry picture there. Uh, he has his Noble on a Griffin. And uh, we used to have the little peg in the actual base for it, but uh, it got it, we moved and it got lost in the move. But um, and then he has uh, a couple of Magic users. He has uh, Teclas, uh level five wizard there. Uh, he has a level 4 here that is Lord of, I'm sorry, uh, he has the Lore of Light, or Life. And then this one has the Lore of Death. Uh, we're going to go into our Vanguards first, and then we'll go into turn 1. Um, his spells, I'm not going to lie, I don't have um, uh, pictures of what spells he had. I know Teclas has all the High Elf spells, and then uh, you're going to see a couple of his Life spells go off here. So uh, let's get started. Like I said, we did a couple of the Vanguard, so uh, he moves his Elysian Reavers on the right side up. I move my Wolf Rider to kind of chaff him up. And then he has his uh, on the other side um, move up. And then it's High Elves turn one. Uh, he goes ahead and moves up all his units uh, just a little bit. He uh, has a giant black with Teclas in the block with Teclas in the back, but he's kind of uh, timid to put him up. And then he has these Sword Masters all the way out to the uh, side, which I think was a flaw on his end. Um, he has eight power dice for his magic phase, and uh, first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna try to do uh, purple sun of Xerxes, and right away I just block it with my dispel scroll because, yeah, dispel scroll. That's that's that. Um, so uh, he goes ahead and uh, tries to do throne of vines, and I believe he gets it off with double sixes, and he puts it onto uh, this unit over here. Uh, with the Throne of Vines, though, even though he got an irresistible miscast, it uh, it allows him to uh, roll on a two plus. The miscast is just ignored, so he does ignore it, and he's all good. Um, he does another spell with his uh, his death magic, uh, and again, I'm not sure exactly which one it is. It hit about two guys over here, but one of them died, and that was about it. He's gonna go into his shooting phase. Um, Shooting phase, he has his Elysian Reavers with bows. They all shoot over here, and uh, they hit two of my Savage Orcs, but my Savage Orcs are fine. And then these guys all take shots at my Wolf Rider, and the Wolf Rider is totally fine. Uh, he has good mat he has good armor on. Um, and then, um, so Orcs and Goblins turn one. First thing that happens is I fail Animosity on Gorbad and the boys, as well as I failed uh, Animosity on the Night Goblins with uh, bows. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge the first closest unit with the Night Goblins and I go for the Reavers and the Reavers actually flee and go away. So I'm not entirely too sure how this works but Gorbad gets a free move 
as well as he charges into the next closest unit, so I believe that's the Lothern Sea Guard. I'm going to go ahead and charge into them. They stood and shot at me, and they actually killed off two of my boar boys before I got into combat, but that's going to go crunch really fast. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wheel out my Night Goblins of Bows on this side, and the Ragnarok is just kind of playing with the terrain, going to a side where he really can't charge me, but I could just kind of jump over those rocks and charge him and uh, see how that's going to go. Magic phase, I got 10 power dice. I'm sorry, that's an extremely blurry picture. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I think, like a dice or two onto Grave Call. And sure enough, I popped up uh, a unit of 10 uh, skeleton crew just 7 inches away from uh, my goblins, but just far enough away where they're about to be charged in. And uh, I, I kind of really like the fact that the goblin has that ability to throw up uh, the lore of undeath. I think that's actually a very interesting uh different way to play goblins. Uh, I'm going to use the rest of my dice on Foot of Gork and sure enough I get it off but Teclis dispels it with uh, his whatever it is called Scroll of Hoeth I think it is or something something like that. So we're going to go into Shooting Phase. Shooting Phase I throw out my Doom Diver right at uh, the Spearman and Misfire. I can't shoot for two turns. The second guy kind of just shot off and went to nowhere. Yeah. So um, so the Ragnarok Spider with the Howda crew on top shot eight shots at the Spearman, and one Spearman got killed by that, so whatever. Over here, my uh, close combat phase, my Goblin Wolf Rider, he took out one Elysian Reaver. He charged, and he scares them, the bejesus out of them, so they run, and he actually caught them and killed them. So uh, they didn't run really far, so he's in a better position. Uh, over here, in this close combat... First Gorbad goes ahead and kills off like two or three of these guys, and uh, they always have strike first too, so they go ahead and they killed off two of my guys, and then the rest of my guys go ahead and they killed off like eight of them. Forces them to flee, and I overrun and killed the whole unit, so uh, yeah. Um, and then I continue to chase the Elysian Reavers where they're running off the board. Uh, we're going to go to High Elves turn two. Another blurry picture here. But uh, first thing he does is with his uh, Noble Prince, he actually charges into the rear of my Ragnarok because he's trying to protect his uh, his General Teclis. Gets into the or gets to the side of the Ragnarok, and sure enough, he actually connected. Um, over here, his uh, Greatswords actually uh, charged my Skeletons, and I found out that the where the, <laughs> where the Skeletons were, compared to where the great swords are it actually is eight inches from my night goblins so guess what my night goblins released some fanatics got three fanatics going out and i'm gonna send them through my uh my skeletons and uh sure enough i'm gonna go ahead and nail them i only one actually got through though killed three uh, great swords and killed five of my skeletons, but I think that is so cool <laughs> Just using my own guys and just throwing them out there over here um, he uh, Combat reformed and moved up his spearmen to the side flank of my uh, Unit of boar boys. He didn't know that he couldn't charge though So I think he would have done that a little bit differently if he would have known um, And then let's go into his magic phase. We got uh, seven dice he uses a walk between worlds, and this augment allows him to get a free move and turns them into ethereal units. So he goes ahead and he does it right onto this unit that got stuck by the skeletons that are surrounded by fanatics. And uh, so he turns his great swords into ethereals. They move through, and not only do they move through, they move through the skeletons and they move through my fanatics, which this is a big question to anybody watching this right now. Do the fanatics die to ethereal units? Because it always says that a unit gets that steps onto a fanatic will cause the fanatic to die but what if they're ethereal I don't know so I, I took one because my nephew I let them both die it's in plus it's just safer for me that way too and uh, that was that um, we're gonna go over here into close combat I don't think he had anybody with range left um, and then his other spells I pretty much just shut down my magic phase with my level 4 so uh, close combat he goes ahead and tries to wound the Ragnarok and he gets off two wounds with the charge um, and over here the Ragnarok he gets the Ragnarok gets like eight attacks with one of them being uh, multiplied by d6 wounds and uh, not including the Hauder crew he killed that prince I mean that prince had, didn't have enough 
um, health to live. I mean, with poison attacks, too. So the Ragnarok is fine and dandy. He's going to go ahead and start off my Orcs and Goblins turn, too. So over here, the Ragnarok goes ahead and charges Teclis' Spearman. And uh, he connects into the rear, which is just glorious. I, I'm really liking this Arachnarok. This is like the first weekend I played with it. Um, over here I failed the animosity with my uh, Night Goblins again and they're going to go ahead and charge into that unit of Ethereal guys. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and use my remaining moves and move the Wolf Rider up to the rear flank over here as well. And then I just reform uh, Gorbat and the boys. But actually Gorbat got out because he's going to go hunt him some uh, great swords. Over here we got uh, seven power dice, and I'm going to try to use them. Uh, oh, I used it again onto another unit of skeletons, hopefully to get some combat resolution over here against his ethereal units. Um, and uh, that was about it for magic. I think I went for the foot of Gork, and he stopped it again. So we're going to go into two Doom Divers onto that, uh, onto that spot on the floor there, and I was hopefully going to redirect them. And uh, one got redirected almost into my skeletons, and uh, the other one just kind of flew off. So that was about it. Uh, gonna go into close combat. This spider is gonna go ahead and kill. He only kills off two initially, and uh, he made way with his. I believe it was actually Teclas who made way, and Teclas put a wound down to the spider. Um, and then I had some thunder stomps, but I don't know why I don't have more guys dead there. Unless I just didn't catch a picture of it, but basically, basically, he combat reforms, turns his unit around, which was a bad mistake because now the boar boys are gonna charge into the rear. <laughs> so uh, this combat over here with the night goblins, of course, they're gonna fail. Uh, they don't even have enough to get combat resolution. They lost about five to the great swords, so they're gonna go ahead and run, and the great swords go ahead and follow. They actually got a twelve on their running on their fling dice, so uh, the great sword's got like a 10 or something like that so uh that was about it we're gonna go to high elves turn three so uh he's gonna continue pursuing my unit of night goblins and he chases them off the board and then uh basically that's it for his uh, movement his rest of his guys are tied down he goes into magic phase next he got eight power dice and then he does the first one on throne of vines which goes off and uh then he does a second one onto this unit over here. He gets a regrowth, which allows them to restore three wounds that he lost, which sucks. I mean, they did nothing with the fanatics. But whatever. Um, over here, the Arachnarok kills off three guys. So the Spearman actually put on a couple more wounds onto my Arachnarok. He's up to five right now. The Howda crew on top killed off two more Spearmen. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Thunder Stomps, and that kills off like a whole good four or five guys more uh they lost but they still have techless there and they actually stood because they were steadfast so uh we're gonna go to orcs and goblins turn four or three whatever it is and uh over here we're gonna have gorbad move in uh towards the ghost guys that i thought were still ethereal and the boar boys also charge into the to the techless's group got seven power dice but does absolutely nothing because savages are facing the wrong direction or the only unengaged unit techless is going to go ahead and attack my arachnarok and he puts on one more wound onto my arachnarok uh which is i mean it's getting close there the rest of the guys swing and they put on another wound on my arachnarok he's at seven of eight he's almost dead uh no don't want to lose him right now but sure enough the boar boys take out like a good chunk of five guys the arachnarok takes off a good chunk of guys and even the wolf boy who you could barely see above the Ragnarok he took out a couple guys they just destroyed that whole unit um, I mean that's just that's crunch right there man um, and then after thunder stomps he killed off everybody and even put a wound on to Teclis and uh, yeah that means uh, they are no longer steadfast they're going to run Teclis is gonna run and I'm gonna chase with everybody of course I'm gonna chase with everybody so <laughs> Teclis is running and uh, here's how it looks we're gonna go into the next turn and uh, high elves turn four um, he's gonna go ahead and try to rally Teclis and Teclis turns around to face his enemy and look what he's looking at this is like my, the best picture ever he's just standing there alone staring at all these things coming at him uh, he goes ahead and rolls eight for power dice and he gets double sixes onto uh, something I forgot what it was but he's gonna go ahead and use his moon staff to take away the miscast so he doesn't lose techless but it makes him a like toughness one strength one guy 
And uh, it didn't do anything. Whatever the spell was, it really didn't do much because he's still in a shitty situation. Over here, these guys turn around and I'm shooting the Doom Divers at him. This is my turn, actually. This is going to be uh, Orcs and Goblins turn four. And uh, aiming both Doom Divers right at these guys at the corner tips. And I'm going to shoot and I kill like one or two of them. Um, over here, I'm going to go ahead and declare a charge with my Boar Boys and my Wolf Boy. And they both connect. I didn't throw in my Arachnorok because guess what I know he has always strikes first I know he'll put an extra wound on the Arachnorok just to kill him so I just stood the Arachnorok back and just let him watch <laughs> oh man this is brutal um, and then over here I turned around the the savages as well and um, like I said the Doom Divers they killed off two guys and I don't know why I skipped phases here but I went ahead and I did the Foot of Gork with three Power Dice got three sixes Threw the foot of Gork on them and killed four more guys. And like I said, this is this is pretty much it. I think this is why I was skipping phases and skipping pictures here too, because it was already pretty much over at this point. He only has one unit left of uh, Sword Masters, and they have a whole, I still have a healthy block of Savage Orcs. Forty, uh, or I'm sorry, twenty more Night Goblins, and then I have the Boar Boys, Gorbat, and uh, Ragnarok still, and uh, ten skeletons running around, or fifteen skeletons. So that was pretty much the end of the game. Um, I, yeah, I tabled my nephew. I'm sorry, but at the same time, it's kind of a learning experience. That's how you gotta learn, you know. Can't hold kids' uh, hands through uh, <laughs> through uh, everything in life. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and he had a lot of fun. Uh, the next day was Easter, and when I went over to my dad's house, he's over there playing a game with my dad. So it was, you know, I'm glad he learned a lot. I'm glad he's knowing his army, and actually, his birthday's coming up soon, so I'm gonna buy him some pieces for uh, his birthday. And I know he's probably watching this video, so he just heard this. So anyways, whatever. Um, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll be putting up more videos very soon. I also have two more rounds in this tournament that I'm going to put up um, in the next couple days. So uh, just keep stay tuned and uh, keep up with the videos. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.